Hello everyone, I'm JG. Welcome back to Music Forever, where today we're reviewing Mastodon's debut album, Remission. Now you may be wondering why I'm reviewing an older album on this channel, because I've so far I've only done new album reviews. Why am I reviewing this album? And that's because I have decided that leading up to the release of Mastodon's new album that's being released on the 31st of March, Emperor of Sand, I'm going to review all of Mastodon's albums uh, leading up to that date. And I'm calling it Mastodon Madness. You know, like March Madness, but instead it's Mastodon, which is a lot cooler than basketball. I'm really excited to do this, and I hope that if you enjoy Mastodon and you want to like my reviews of their albums, that you'll stick with me through this uh, and see all their album reviews coming out. Maybe when you're watching this, that I've already uploaded all those videos, so make sure to check those out. If you're unfamiliar with who Mastodon are, they're a sludge and progressive metal band that have been around since... Uh, 2000 and their debut album, Remission Here, that was released in 2002, really kind of put them on the map uh, in the whole metal community, as well as their follow-up album, Leviathan, which I am going to be reviewing soon. And overall, I would say that this group has been one of the bigger forces in metal music ever since they released this album and become a band pretty much ever since the year 2000. They've kind of been a massive force, I guess you could say, within the metal community, definitely one of those bands that gets a higher, I guess you could say, critical acclaim than others. And overall, they're one of my favorite metal bands and just bands overall. And those of you familiar with Mastodon's entire career, you know that as the albums progressed, they got uh, less heavy as they went on. So, of course, kind of by that logic, Remission is their heaviest album. And, yeah, it is. It's definitely on the heavier side of things, definitely more sludge metal than I would say progressive metal. However, there are some elements of progressive metal in there that would kind of, you know, be realized on future albums. And I think they really kind of saw their birthplace on this record. This album is very aggressive and angry overall, I would say. Uh, this album is kind of has a loose concept of the element of fire connected to it. Uh, you can see it in some of the t tracks uh, in their names, as well as some of the lyrics in their songs, that there is kind of a theme of fire running through. There's not like an album story or anything like that. However, fire is, I guess you could say, the concept of this album. And fire is a lot of times associated with aggression and things like that. And in that sense, this album definitely is fire out of all of Mastodon's albums. It's their angriest, most aggressive. There's not really any clean vocals that would become more prominent and then completely take over in later albums. It's all that more rough kind of vocal style with heavy, just sludgy riffs. Another interesting thing about Mastodon is that they have multiple vocalists. Now, now they have three lead vocalists, but back on this album they only had two, Troy Sanders and Brent Hines, who share lead vocal duties. However, their vocal styles aren't super different here on this album. Of course, they're both very aggressive, more, you know, shouting kind of vocals that are, of course, connecting back to that whole aggressive nature of this album. Brent Hines and Bill Kelleher provide some great guitar work on this album, kind of going back and forth between heavy, sludgy riffs and then more melodic sounding guitar parts that I think would kind of take over on their more progressive projects like Crack the Sky and Once More Around the Sun. However, on this album, I'd say that it focuses more on the heavier uh, riffs that are just occasionally interrupted by the more melodic parts. And then there's drummer Bron Daler for this band, who's definitely one of my favorite drummers just overall in all of music, because he just has an instantly recognizable style, a super fast, just really interesting style that, as I said before, is instantly recognizable. You just know it's him when you hear his drumming pattern. And he manages to provide a very aggressive, technical sound for this album that matches perfectly with the furious guitars, bass, and vocals. It all just comes together really well in this project. Everyone seems to be in the band just seems to be playing with the same mindset, the same end goal, and it really shows here. Now the album's first track, Crusher Destroyer, is a perfect example of all the songs that you're going to find here and just an overall good idea of the sound of this project. It now starts off, interestingly enough, with a sample taken from the Jurassic Park films. Uh, it's the first film at one point when the T-Rex roars. That's the sample that's here in the first few seconds of the track. And then right after that, it launches straight into the song itself, which is a short burst of two minutes of energy that really is just awesome, I would have to say. The drumming is super fast. The aggression is all there. It's just a perfect example of what this album is. The following track, March of the Fire Ants, is also a really cool track. It starts off more with the heavy, sludgier side of the riffs that I think are just really cool. And then at the end of the track, or more towards the end of the track, I would rather, it goes into a more melodic sounding guitar part that I think just sounds really cool and stands out here. Definitely one of the more interesting moments on this project. 
The track Workhorse portrays some of the most aggressive vocals on the album. And then the following track, Old Messy, I think is a really cool track. It definitely starts off with this really long kind of intro, more melodic sounding, before launching into a, the more typical sounding Mastodon sound that was seen on this album as a whole. The track Trainwreck, the longest song in this album, also has a longer leaning intro that then uh, launches into more heaviness that is more accustomed to this album as a whole. The intro is of course more, I guess you could say, not as heavy, more melodic sounding, and then of course it launches into that furious energy as I said before that is typical of Remission. The track Trial of Bite is definitely one of my favorites on the entire album, and that's because it mixes things up a little by being a slower track that isn't more melodic leaning like some of the other tracks I mentioned earlier that have segments that are more melodic and not as heavy, but this track is slower but it's still very heavy. It's just got that slower, heavier riff going throughout, which I think is really cool. I like how they kind of changed it up here. And of course, Trial of Bites are just cool overall, so that's got to be a reason why I like this track. Despite the aggression that's shown throughout this album, the closing track, Elephant Man, is an instrumental track that definitely shows a softer, more melodic side to this group, kind of like the intros to the tracks, Old Messy and uh, War uh, Trainwreck that are more like in the same style I guess you could say. This track is just a longer version of kind of those intros maybe, but with a bit more uh, personality of its own when it's just placed on its own at the end here. This is a really cool instrumental and it's a nice way to end off the album. However, there's kind of this hidden bonus track I guess you could say that takes place a few seconds after this and it really just kind of sounds like uh, it sounds like thunder but really drawn out or like the sound of fire burning, like a massive like fire burning just really kind of drawn out, something like that. And it just goes on for a few seconds before cutting out. I really don't know what it is, but maybe I was right about that whole fire thing and then it would connect back to the album's theme of fire. But that was just a stretch in my opinion. I don't know what it is. But it's kind of cool. I don't think it sounds bad. I think it fits in with the whole aesthetic of this album. I don't know. Overall, I think this is a really good album. The only complaint I may have is that at times it sounds a bit samey. Uh, the riffs aren't quite as memorable as some of the later Mastodon projects like Leviathan that would follow it. But I do think listening through this album, there's not a single track I would skip and there's not a single track that I would consider bad. It's all pretty good throughout and it's a nice starting place for this group. Overall, if you're into sludge metal or progressive metal, heavy kind of metal in general, just a little more on the heavy side, I guess you could say. I really recommend checking out Remission if you haven't done so already and checking out Mastodon's entire discography because, as I said earlier in this video, they're a great band. That's why I'm dedicating this entire month to them. Uh, yeah, pretty great. I recommend this album with uh, complete certainty. I believe that this is a pretty good project. I hope you enjoyed this review of Mastodon's Remission. As I said before, stay tuned for those other Mastodon reviews that should be coming soon. Maybe they're already up if you're watching this video sometime in the future, after March ends, of course. Uh, yeah, if you like this video, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel, uh, so you could, of course, see those videos as they're coming out. You don't want to miss any of those. And, of course, we have other heavy metal-related content on this channel, so you might want to stay for that, of course. And I'd like to know what you thought of this album. I'd appreciate it if you would leave it down in the comments below. I like the hear myself. Sometimes I respond to those comments, so if you're there early, maybe I'll respond to you. Overall, yeah, this is a great album. Stay golden.